We're gonna dig in here, and I'm gonna dig real deep. Are you? That you yeah. just said that like it was a sexual thing. Yeah, or it could be like a dinosaur bone. I'm gonna thing. dig real deep or it could for be this like, dinosaur bone. I don't want to die so we can find water. Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk. On this show, we read your topics on the Twitter using the hashtag Table Talk or on the Reddit from uh, Reddit slash r slash source fed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. <laughs> I'm Victoria. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm it says it in the in bowl. Here. That's why I was pointing at the bowl. It says yeah. r slash source fed in case we have a brain fart in the morning and forget. Yeah, the person who made this for us it's knew very that we were gonna n forget sometimes. They know that mornings are early and it's hard for your brain to function. Mornings are early. Mm -hmm. That's the wisest thing I've ever said. <laughs> On Twitter, uh, Pikachu Frey says, if your partner had Ninja Turtle hands, could you make the relationship work? <laughs> okay, well, I would say there's no hands play. Why not? Ooh. Oh my god, that would, like, <laughs> that would split you open. As a lady, Ninja as Turtle a dude, hands. I don't think you want that, that either. split you open. Yeah, yeah I don't think you want fingers. that. You want that? Well, because, like, one finger is probably the girth of, like, a pretty thick penis. Right. I don't, so, like, you could deal with I it. I don't feel like if it's, like, I mean, I don't oh, know. I have to go back. Steve. Can we get a reference, a visual reference on how thick those fingers are? I mean, let's see. Okay, so if we're talking the Ninja Turtles from the Eastman and Laird comic book, black and white comic book days. Oh, I thought we were talking about Secret of the Used. Turtles. Well, if we're talking Secret of the Used, it's all right. It's foam. Ooh. Ooh, well, no, no, no. Foam. Just I put mean, some lube on that in. thing. No, no, no. Slip it in. Would you would you want that wrapped around Listen, your hoo-ha? Love knows no aesthetic. Love's no species? Love don't love know. Love knows no species. But, it's, it's, like a, it but it's not they're not a ninja turtle. Yeah, it's just their they're hands. They're human, but they just have ninja turtle hands. Yeah. No, they're turtles that went in ooze. No, okay. No, Who the, the person in oh, the Oh, the question. Yes. I was yes. like, we're getting bit into where the ninja turtles come from. <laughs> they're turtles that went in <laughs> ooze. So <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I, I, I think we can make a relationship work, but it's a little, little yeah. like, but you need a like, yeah. gentle caress. And love is like blind. All these dicks hit you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> it's like someone's got thick penis girth hands. Yeah, I don't. It's all right. You'll get it. I mean, look, love is blind. It doesn't. If the person is amazing, yeah, they're amazing. you can still like, love. But like I originally said, just no hands play. Yeah. I think you'll get into nope. hands play. Mm, you no don't hands play. Wait, so you'll be able to handle a relationship forever with no hands play? Yeah, there's other yeah, things, there's that, other things that happen. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, there's it, it can't you can Here's switch it up a little bit. <laughs> and I'm gonna use a phrase I just learned. If I want to monk off, thank you. I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna use it in my everyday life now. <laughs> with hands, I got my own hands, so I'll use the other person for things I physically can't Except do. Except for I don't know if you actually remember when we looked that up. What I it was meant. like, no, but. <laughs> Authority that it's Who's the guy? Is that Tony Sharif? Yes. Is that guy's name? Hmm. From Monk? Uh, oh, it's the TV show. Is that his name? No, Tony, Tony Shaloub. Shaloub. Shalom. Shaloub is Shalom. a fun name. All right, Anthony Orn at Anthony Orn says if you could pick the way the world ends, it, that's not really a question, but that's what it says. If you could pick the way the world ends, question mark, oh. I would have to choose a zombie apocalypse. I want it to be quick. So how would you end the world? Yeah, just like, like I want to be like a. I don't think even meteor would be quick. You think that'd be too? I slow. think it should just be like core implosion. Boof, like suck it like, all in. <laughs> yep, done. Mm. Mm. You don't even know. I think I I would like that if it just stops. If it stops, just like don't stop believing. What if it just stops? It just stops. Rotating. I think oh be, no, because then fucked. we would all keep moving. That would hurt so bad. I think, here's the thing, I think about this all the time. What would happen if the Earth, like, came off of its axis? Mm. That's a scary thought. Or just thought. tumbled into space? Yeah. Nuclear winter. Yeah. But I mean, like, would we feel it instantly? Or would It'd it be, be so like, a cold. gradual cold change? Cold and dark. Cold, yeah, no, I mean, like, if you the, if you watch science things, that's what <laughs> shows <laughs> the are to cover science. Science things. If you move the Earth, like, Five feet in a direction, shit's going wrong. I mean, obviously, like it, it doesn't have like a perfect orbit, but like or like yeah. a perfect. Yeah. Let's say perfectly still, but like let's, let's say you move a hundred feet. Yeah. Out of where it is now, mm -hmm. fucking cold as shit. So let's talk mm -hmm. about. Okay, so I'm. Um, let's talk about because we are. And that's the technical term, fucking cold as yeah. shit. Yeah. Also, space stuff or science things. Science. Stuff. Science things. Science stuff is a great section at the <laughs> video store when you go to look for something to rent. I, so I'm thinking, because, like, Earth is a spaceship. We're on a spaceship going through space. Spaceship Earth. Kind of. It is. We're on a spaceship, guys. Mm -hmm. Think about it. 
for a second. I'll give you time. We're on the Go exterior the, of the ship, the, though. Give, We're not in the give ship. Give me a second, give to, me think a second to think about it, please. Okay. So, like, <laughs> what happens if, like, boom, thrusters are off, and we just start, like... We're gone. Like, it's not just the axis. Yeah. We're, like, actually completely just... I don't think we're going to make it to Mars before everybody's dead. Yeah. You're, you're thinking about this. So what happens on Earth, Because though? you saw gravity. Everybody's Yeah, cold. probably. So, like, what happens Freezes to us? Freezes to death. So, but do we, like, does gravity get all fucked up, you think? No, we'd still no, have an atmosphere. We'd, yeah, we'd still be stuck to the Earth because gravity is mass. Yeah. So we'd still be on the Earth. But, yeah, it would just be cold and dark. And then that would probably slowly kill off all the species. So it's still slow. I'm going to go... Hmm. I'm gonna go. Ooh, I'm gonna go. That actually, our plane, like our reality, is one plane, and there are other realities. Oh, that I are like planes, this. And the planes touch. Everything ceases to be instant. So it's oh, that's just interesting. Tink. God. That's cool. I watched this planes. really sweet special called Ten Ways to Destroy the Earth, and that was one of the ways that they destroyed. Oh, it. interesting. I did some homework for this question. I'd kind of like. I, someone... I hope it's like like. Dinosaur style extinction, like huge meteorite, we all go instantly. No, there's no instant. instant at all. That's not it instant. covered the earth in like a cloud of dust. That blocked and then so maybe, died. maybe maybe nukes then. Oh, nukes. That'd be faster. Nukes so would wait, be but, faster, but, but it depends on where we hit. Yeah, yeah. If, only if you're near the nuke. Yeah. If not, radiation yeah, poisoning. Radiation poisoning. That's, That's what I'm saying. Too. Like if it was a core implosion, it'd be like. <laughs> Done. We'd just be done. It'd be okay. Well, uh, or like if the sun explodes, that's going to happen eventually. I think that'd be well, slow too. I think slow. that'd be slow. It's really slow. Check yeah. this one out though. Want to know? Here's another thing. Then fast we would one. go off axis because there wouldn't yeah. be any gravity to hold us there. Wouldn't anymore. Be, we wouldn't yeah. be pulled by the sun no more. It's not going to just explode, it expands. Yeah. Well, and, and just then like, it does, fuck, right? It just like so, gets. But we'd it be long inside goes, the sun yeah. before it becomes mm. the sun. I saw a meme that was like bad guy son or like like douchebag son and it was just like I'm gonna kill you someday and it had like a big smile <laughs> but uh, for now it's frightening want to know another quick death for the earth yeah uh, what if someone like time traveled because you know how time travel if you change one thing like in the future it'd be like mm-hmm. an instant change what if someone went back to like the big bang or something and then like stopped it from happening or something what if like knocked like oh yeah. I like yeah, that yeah the earth just never existed we I like just it. boop boop click gone. done time gone I like it time or would you fade away like in some time like travel Marty. movies, yeah, when you start just fading out. Visions of your happiness to all. That's good. On Reddit, Mr. Ford says, what two amazing superpowers that are entirely, what two amazing superpowers are entirely useless when combined? Also, what are two useless superpowers that are amazing when combined? This is, v- it's a, early, okay? Yeah, that's, that's a very that's difficult. Like, Let's just Let's feed that answer. one to the dog that's under the table. It eats Nom, nom, nom. nom. <laughs> it's true. We already scraps. talked about the world ending. That was that was a lot of fun. That was, I don't even, I, honestly, you read it twice, and I still didn't really yeah, get it. Yeah, it was hard. That was be like, well, whatever, all right. At Fat Hat on. I'd need a pen and paper to answer that one. Yeah. Yes. John Carroll on Twitter says, what is the worst job you've ever had? Oh, man, I was a telemarketer for, like, a week once. And it was called, it was from a thing called, like, entertainment casting or something. Yeah. And it was those things where, like, you have, like, a binder in front of you and it has, like, all the things to say to mm-hmm. people. And then you would get, like, I forgot how it worked. It was either a callback from someone because they, like, called you okay. or you, like, randomly picked someone. I think they called us. Mm-hmm. Entertainment casting, yes, would you like to be a movie star? What you do is, and it was just the biggest <laughs> bullshit scam ever, and it was just so horrible. And then they gave you money? It. No, check this out. <clears throat> I worked there for a week, no pay, and then at the end of the week, my boss was like, um, he brought all the employees in, all four of us, and he was like, so um, you guys are going to get some checks in the mail, like that. you guys are getting your first paycheck in the mail, and then no problem, that's that, all right? Cool, everybody okay? Great. We left for that day, then the next day, we're all getting ready to go to work, we get a phone call. Um, don't come into the office today because we're closed. We're done. Like, we, 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 we closed the business. I wish you had gone there and it was just all the desks were gone and were just, like, phones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ringing. And you, know, you never got your check, did you? Never, ever. I'm sure. And it was just, like, a big-ass scam that we were basically slaves. Oh. Well, for a week. For I think you got out of it. I got That's out of like it. That's not like you were human-trafficked because that would be the worst It job. was, like... Mini-human trafficking. Nah, I don't even think we can call it mini-human trafficking. It was like 
negative human trafficking. No, the it's opposite. Just you, you I think we can't put human trafficking nope, in you there. Just, you, you got That's a week good. of What about paying? human That's gridlocking? Six. Okay, there we go. Human gridlocking. <laughs> um, I have a plethora of really crappy jobs, so to pick the worst one is hard. I also had a telemarketing experience, except for it was a room with a whole bunch of ringing phones, like Ooh. you picture. I was selling extended auto warranties over the phone, and I lasted about three weeks. Um, was it a scam? I mean, I don't know. Well, but the best I'll is be when honest. Trisha gets, I've been there when Trisha gets the extended auto warranty call. And she's like, yeah, I actually used to do this and it covers, my warranty already covers all this. So, um, thank you. Yeah. Because oh. that's, you're telling people like, I understand you have your manufacturer's warranty, but our warranty covers this. And from what I'm heard is when you actually call in to make a claim on your warranty, they like do everything they can to weasel out of paying it. So it's probably not a great deal. Um, but it was the same thing where like you just call the number and then you read the script of what they tell you yeah, to say. Like that sounds like something you'd like, doesn't it? It's as you worst. move to the next line. Yeah. Um, and it was awful. And then like I'd be really nice to people and then they'd have to switch in the closer who's the mean person on the phone to them. And then I'd feel really bad that I like lured them into this horrible oh, situation. Yeah. And yeah, it was not good. Um, yeah. I did that. And then the other one is I worked at a uh, broasted chicken place. Yep. What, yep. What's that? Being right. Fist bump it what, what's it roasted? <laughs> Roast. Dude, we're um, going to roast this. We ain't going to roast it. We're going to fucking roasted. drink Red Mountain Dew and fucking work. chug Whoa, some beers. Mountain Dew Code Red is fucking delicious. <laughs> Don't you bring that shit in. It's into a bit the of a bro drink. <laughs> but I worked Whoa. there with like three weeks of the summer left before I was going back to college. And I was like, look, I just need a job for three weeks. Because um, I wanted to make some more money before I started my semester. And uh, they were like, yeah, we can hire you, but um, you're not going to work the cash register or, you know, get to deal with the guests or anything. You're going to be in the back uh, doing the dishes. And uh, you know what the dishes Was that consist body? of? <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You know what the dishes consist of at a roasted chicken place? A lot of raw chicken. Gross. I was just lots of elbows deep in raw chicken. Did you ever get, like, salmonella or? No. You wash your hands. She just licked her arms. And no. Wait, can you explain to me what broasted it is? So it was kind of like fried, but not really. And I actually don't, I don't even know. We could look it up and maybe put the definition uh, on the screen. But it's, so, it's kind of like fried, but not. It's a different process slightly, but. Can you broast anything? I don't know. That sounds like, that's like the German word for cheers, Brost. Brost. Ah. Can we have broast beef? Maybe it's a German cooking process. I don't know. I want broast beef. <laughs> Bruce beef. Um, yeah, just feel like we're fist pumping it. Okay, and pouring like monster that. energy yeah, drink yeah. on it. Um, and banging babes. <laughs> Whatever, man, having a good time. <laughs> um, the worst job I ever had, probably tie between Target. I worked at Target for a while <laughs> in high school. Um, I worked at the Returns. Somebody threw a bottle of shampoo at me. I think I've talked about it on the show. Mm -hmm. But then I worked my way up to the operator, which was the cushiest job, which is why I don't feel like it was the <laughs> That's first. what you said, if you I ever have to work at Target, yep, be the operator. Be the operator. You sit in a chair all day, all you do is answer phones, go, yep, we're open. Nope, we close at 10. And that's it, that's your whole fucking job, it's amazing. Doesn't that get like horrible after a while? No, Did you, you bring a book there? or anything? Yeah, I'd have a book, or I'd like, I played Nash, remember that game? Wow, is girl. Yes. I forgot about Mash. I knew oh who. Oh my god! I knew I who I was gonna Mash. marry a thousand times. Do you ever play that? Do boys do that? No, boys didn't wait, do that. Was Mash the game where like you were mansion, a military apartment, <laughs> shack, or, or house. house, and then there's all different sides to it, and it yeah, determines it's what like, age you're getting married, who, who you're getting married, marry, how many kids kind of you're gonna pet have, you're gonna have, what cars you have. Yeah, and while you're doing it, you're like, suicide is painless. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I, I remember when I played that game, anyone who got married over the age of 19 was a total loser. Oh, we didn't like, do if you ages, hadn't had it figured so out by 19, loser. When I was a boy, we I played uh, with my penis. Great job. I also worked at this bar in college called Nephews. What was it, Marcus? Nephews. Um, it was the first job that my first night I went into the bathroom and I was like, I'm just gonna walk out. Like I can't. Why were you stay like here. super weeded? I was like a, a cocktail waitress, yeah. but like it was just like if a table sat down and you got to them first, you could have you could be like, Hey, you guys need anything? And it was like super very. It was like super like you had to wear high heels because the owner had a foot fetish and you couldn't wear anything that was jean and like it was all very like, Hi, how are you? Oh, I work those oh, gigs, gross. girl. But then once I got so used to I. it, <laughs> I worked there for like a year. See? Yeah. Once once you accept what the job is, you can make some money. Yeah. I used to have shirts that were like, 
a little over the slutty line just enough that I was like, this is a work shirt yep. only. <laughs> I would be like, I'm wearing this to work and I'm wearing this for school. Uh, I don't think true. that there's an equivalent for dudes in that. Oh, there yeah. definitely are. You go down to WeHo, baby. There are some jobs you could get. Oh, you could be a go-go dancer in a bar. But I mean, like, there's no, like, restaurant equivalent. Oh, there's go-go dancers at the Abbey, which is a restaurant. Yeah. What do you, but I mean, like, would I just show them my penis or something? Or? Yeah, we're like tight we little boy wear shorts. Wear tight, tight little like speedo and shake your thing. So there's like a little crack, little butt crack, or yeah, maybe a little out the little, top. You put a little crack out there. It's a little scrotum. Yeah. Or? Yeah. I don't know. It's but it's scrot. gotta be wax. <laughs> gotta wax the okay. scrot. Okay. Yeah. What about just one, like one ball, or That's would you like... ever do that? Here's a question, Steve. Would you ever get a boy zillion? What is that? A man zillion. Yeah, boys. What is it? It's where they wax your whole thing. Is that like a bunch of money? Thing. I would love a zillion dollars. You wax your whole kit and caboodle. Oh yeah, I'd do it. Why not? Really? You would totally yeah, do why it. Why not? It's a big wow. deal. It's gonna hurt like balls. Literally. I'll it's take gonna it. hurt your balls. Drew's <laughs> look at Drew. All over. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Here comes the pervert. <laughs> what do you? What do you want to say? Drew's here to give though? us firsthand advice on what a boy zillion feels like. Oh, he's giving us the no go. Oh, but would you Drew's do? Never it? gotten a boy zillion. Sure. Right? You would. Wow! I'm so proud. You are probably the first two boys on the planet that you... I've ever talked to that are willing to get a boy zillion Why? that have never done it before. Well, because you guys always complain about how sensitive your balls are. Now you're gonna put wax. Yeah, on but no one's gonna rip rip fucking either? like. It's not like someone's gonna crush them or like. No, gonna pull like kick the them. hair out of them. I've had hair pulled off of my body before, out like of your on balls? my arm. Out of your balls, though. No, I'm because right. the thing is, like, <laughs> not to get too graphic. I right. hope everybody's <laughs> awake this morning. But if I tap your balls, like you're. Already like, oh god! That's true. Ah! Tap my hoo ha, and I'd be like, oh, all right. And it hurts when I chip all that out of it. So, are you, like, that's pretty sensitive. I'm, the tap is internal damage. That's where but, but I mean, like, there you, you think go. somebody pulling shit off of it isn't gonna rattle some stuff oh around? Oh my god, I'm crying. As long as they're one fluid motion, it's fine. It's not fine. I'm gonna uh, tell you. It's, it's yeah, not gonna hurt from you. Ladies who get yeah, but the lady like, version. Yeah, get the lady version. But all you have to do is think about how like it'll hurt for a second, but then you'll be able to make all looks the so money pretty. for you ever showing do that off your scrotum so at TGI pretty. Fridays. I have a question. Do you ever do that thing where they're trying to talk to you and then you're like, and then I was. Oh. I was uh, talking to my friend, like you oh, interrupt, yeah. like the my you're trying to play it off. My lady's always like, "So how was your summer?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do one more and then get the hell out of here, huh, kids? Uh, uh, yep. um, <clears throat> can, I, can I please drive you to and from your boys' alien appointment? Uh, I think this sure. is a comfort zone. Let's I do think it. this I is care. a comfort zone. Put that camera on my junk. <laughs> Boy, no, no, and don't blur it out. I nope. want the world to know. No nope. pencil. Uh, Reddit says from this boy named Llama Two One Two on Reddit says, uh, for one day, you get to share the body of anyone in the world. Who would you choose, and why? Also, you don't get any control over this person, but you see, hear, and feel everything they so do. So it's being John Malkovich. Being John Malkovich. This includes all their emotions. All their emotions. I'd be like Scarlett Johansson, or like. Jennifer but you Lawrence. can't. You can't control. Who has a yeah? Now. Who has a really happy life? Yeah, I guess normally. if you're a girl, you're and like you're, you're thinking about it in a sexy way. Like I want to feel them boobs. I want you wouldn't feel my she's own not going to feel her own boobs. I mean, maybe she does, but the, the only thing you're going to feel. Like a two, she's not just like oh, it's Tuesday. Nobody's doing you that. Know that. <laughs> you don't know what she's into. Nah. She I, might love grabbing her own. I boobs. think you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. I know. She might take a dump that. The day. only thing that's going to happen. It might be like a really sexy breast cancer check. I'd be into that, mm -hmm. sure. It'd be one of those. I just don't want to get on the day that I get. But it might. You happen. might. Because you're gonna feel that. Uh, you're gonna <laughs> feel it. You're gonna go through those emotions. Um, you're probably gonna, gonna be disappointed by what happens in someone's head. Although, have you guys <laughs> ever been curious about that? Because like you think about how like the female orgasm is like supposedly like the most amazing. So you want to feel the female I'm orgasm? I'm pretty sure. Again, I've said this several times. You guys look like you're enjoying yourself plenty. So no, I don't no, think no, you're gonna I'm be like. Saying, oh, it's so much I'm better when I'm a lady. But like you gotta think about like if you were to switch days. Like here, here's how weird I get sometimes when okay. I think about switching like minds with someone is like. You have like a particular way that you feel mm -hmm. all the time. Like you might have like a slight headache here and there every once in a while, mm -hmm. or like you got a tickle in your nose. Like if you switch places with someone, you're gonna get their like weird idiocy. Oh, yeah. If I switch places with either of you, I'd have to deal with glasses. Well, that's the thing. You would have to get that. that. You would get that initial shock yeah. of being like, "Whoa, what's this itch that? I, what, what's happening? Like, oh yeah, it'd be like, like a, a weird pain in my yeah, yeah. You'd be like, yeah. But, I mean, like, do you'd you guys, have to get used to carrying around a lot of extra weight right here. I've carried around weight here. So you're just gonna shift it. So I know it up. if I if I shifted it. 
I'm gonna pick James Dean, the porn star, because that man looks like he's having a good time all the time. Ooh. And also, fucking lady. What if you pick him on the day that he's getting like a sweet anima? Okay, <laughs> if that could happen to anyone. He doesn't get, you know, you're familiar with his work. He doesn't get touched in the bum. You don't know that. He doesn't. What does he do in the black market? Or what does he do when he goes to Japan and he like does Listen, videos? He's there? here every day tweeting photos of girls and he's like, I'm gonna do this bit. Yeah, but wow. you know how it goes. I mean, he might be doing something. James Dean the That's porn star. I'm at picked. Who's happy all the time? Uh, James Dean the porn star. No, I, Boom. I don't. A, I'm not gonna steal your answer. And B, I'm, I'm not so into doing the ladies all the time. Um, right, but you know what it would be like. Like, you agree. Boys look like they're just having a field day. You want to know what it's like But I'm like, like maybe I once. can pick someone that's happy all the time, which also includes sex. I think I just also. did. Um, well, I want to... The devil. Oof. Who has a really rocking job? Like, who's like the real-life Willy Wonka? Bart Simpson. I want to be real-life Willy Wonka. Who is that right now? Russell Brand. Did you do that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Russell Brand. Is Russell really Brand, but what if he's like coming off of something? Because that's Yeah. Really I, don't know I thought he doesn't, doesn't though. Does he not do drugs or something? I have no know. idea. Some or he stopped doing drugs know. or something? And they do. I don't know enough. What about, about Katy Perry? Would you be Katy Perry? <gasps> On a performance day, maybe. She looks like she got, say, she got fun up there. I was going to say, man, you'd have big titties. Boom, you already have them. <laughs> yeah. Nothing has changed for See, you. Nothing has like, changed. This takes all the fun out of like switching places with someone because it's like, I'd be Bill Gates or something. I don't think so. What if you're just on the day? Well, don't, don't say it just takes all the fun. What if you're just doing it to get secrets? Who knows things? The, the president. president. You could be Obama for a day. Okay. That's mine. Okay. I'm taking Obama. Could you imagine I'm how taking Obama. fucking stressful it is to be president Super stressful, for a day? Yeah. But I would know if there were really aliens. Your would head you, would just explode I would know, probably. I would yeah. know a lot of stuff. I, I don't think our minds would take. Yeah, I don't or think maybe Pope know. for a day. No. Maybe Pope for a day. You already know how to be Catholic. Dude, if you were Pope for a day, you'd learn some crazy shit. I would want to know you? what's what's under the Vatican. Yeah, but think about and, all the... And like, all the secret rooms. Yeah, but think about um, all the crazy cover-ups and stuff. That's like, what I mean. You could, what if they're in a like meeting about it, and then you learn everything? It'd yeah, be amazing. Yeah, in like, a mass boy-touching meeting, and then you'd be sad. Yeah, what if you were oh, in a mass boy-touching meeting? Yeah. I don't want to be in that. Well, what if you learn those mean? What if no, you learn those secrets? No, I want to learn secrets? about like the secrets of the exorcisms and stuff. Yeah, no, I, I don't think learn you're about be those in a secrets. secrets. What if you were like the Pope for a day and you were like, now we're going to learn the secrets of exorcisms, and then he goes, <clears throat> we've got like three more movies coming out this year about exorcisms, so we're probably gonna get a good amount of cash for those, right? Yeah. Mm, mm. Anybody want to light up my joint? Yeah. People still don't know they are bushes. It's so weird. Mm. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I just feel like you come out of being the Pope. Like, God damn it. No, there has got to be some fascinating shite going on You just on hear the puffer and he's like, I'm going to make an omelet. <laughs> going to crack the egg and put it in the fine Not bag. true at all. <laughs> you don't know that. He might bless everything yeah. he does. Which this is my love song. Would be amazing. My love Which song goes yeah. on my Would be amazing. Sword. The fire, the sun, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, God damn it, my eggs are burnt. <laughs> Well, who's gonna, I why don't have to do this I myself? I bet he does not say God. <laughs> I think we just figured out like a new web series. <laughs> it's the Pope and his David I, I am not part of this what? web series. Battle Pope is a comic about the Pope and I'm it's sure. fun. The Pope's like looking at himself in the mirror funny. and he's like, mm, damn, I bless myself, I look so good today. Oh, God, that's what that's Steve right. would do God, if Steve damn, were Pope. Bless, bless my me. soul. <laughs> Oh, I smell good today. Spiritu Santo. Is that the only Latin you know? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, e oh, that's good too. Guys, who would you switch bodies with? Let us know in the comments <laughs> down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the annotation. Go to sourcefed.com. Don't forget to submit your topics. Also, r slash sourcefed. Hashtag table talk. Uh, I'm Meg Turney. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Trish Ashburger. Boom, Meg. That was great. Here's Yay. the script for the Emily Rose Exorcism Part oh. 2. Hang on. Let me get to the end. Because oh, no. it doesn't have... A, good, uh, a see, hot girl in it. I'm not going you to say you say that, Steve, Steve but so. all of that stuff is like on the do not read list. Mm, that's they what don't they want, want you to think. It's a reverse psychology. Yeah. Oh, these guys are great. Can we talk about how hot this Emily Rose bitch is? Because I, I think know, she's, she's great. She's really great. No, no. How about you read for Emily Rose and I'll read for the priest? Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm a hot bitch, but I just not even in this. Not even in this group. That's why I keep you around. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. I love Catholics. Oh, that was nice. Communion waiver. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I used to eat these things called testaments. You ever heard of those? It's a mint with a little Bible verse on each wrapper. Oh, bless oh, you. Oh, I've never heard of those. They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs>
That's good. Like, mm -hmm. once upon a time, I was, like, super into Jesus. I know, I know. What was that like? It was blissful. <laughs>